Welcome back. Well, being a science major at Sac State starting today will never be the same. George Warren shows us a state of the art new building is a serious game changer. Anybody who still doubts the Earth is round need only observe the 360 degree rotation of a Foucault pendulum while the planet silently spins below it. Kind of like a compass, right? It'll hit every single one of those tick marks. You'll find it at the main entrance of the 97,000 square foot Ernest E. Shannon Science Complex named for the Swiss immigrant who donated $9 million towards its construction. When you walk here and you look on either side, it's just, you can see out. When do you ever go in a science building and see that? The open floor plan and floor to ceiling windows offer sweeping views of the main campus on one side and the Guy West Bridge on the other. The windows themselves become a classroom tool, the semi-opaque panels serving as a whiteboard. But the centerpiece, literally, is a community-wide asset under that gray dome. A 120-seat planetarium with full dome projection overhead. Welcome to planet Earth. I think the primary users for this space are going to be K-12 field trips. I think there will be many of them, probably multiple a day. We now move from the ground floor planetarium, where you'll see simulated celestial events, up here to the top floor observatory, where you'll be able to watch the real thing. Chemistry and biology students move here from Sequoia Hall, so old that some used hair dryers when the Bunsen burners wouldn't work. I think they're going to be so excited once they see the lab space, especially the general chemistry students, because the labs that are over in Sequoia really out of date. I challenge anybody to find a better facility in Northern California right now. This is legit. <laughs> Yeah, it looks legit. How about yeah. that drone shot that George gave us, huh? Just gorgeous. Awesome. Among the Man. clever touches at the Shannon Complex is wood paneling and benches milled from dozens of trees that were removed to protect PG&E gas lines that run underground.